Oh, I'm just putting away my gym clothes. This is my gym. And uh, I'm, this is where I keep all my gym clothes. So I have so many clothes and I can't keep track of everything in my other closet. So I just thought I would take you, since it's Vlogmas, uh, take you cleaning and doing some of the things that I do to keep my home working. I gotta make sure that once I do laundry that everything is put away. So I'm ready for the week. So what better thing to do during Vlogmas, right? It's just to show you how I'm doing it. Keep this organized. So when I, depending on the day, I can just come in here and just grab what I'm looking for. Whether I want to do an outfit or a mix and match. Whatever. Get it in here. As you see, I have a lot of workout stuff. Kind of a variety of colors. Whether it's summer or winter. Winter I wear a lot of, I have a lot of mixed match stuff too. So I put the, the tights that are alike. These are all the same, just different colors. So I have three sets of these. I'm gonna put them all right here. So depending on my outfit, I'll know what I wanna wear. And sports bras, I usually put in my my bathroom, or in my bedroom. I don't know why. I have like a basket. I guess I could put baskets up here. I should do baskets up here of sports bras and stuff like that. Because some of my tights are see-through too. So I need to figure out some... Pants I can wear for those. I usually put two tights on one hanger or three. Kind of get the most of everything. It's not totally anally organized. I'm not totally anally organized. I just have to be able to see what I have. And then all this stuff down here are like workout mats and um, my little trampoline. So when I use them, I pull them out. It's like, again, not totally organized. Just is what it is. So I'm on a roll today. I've got to get a lot done. A lot of house cleaning you're going to see today on this vlog. All right, so there we go. So the sports bra I'm going to take. This is uh, my workout, or this is my travel bag when I travel. So I'm going to put it up there because I don't need it right now. Not traveling right now. These go with it. I'm home for a bit. So, that towel right there. Let's get this in here. I have one more shirt to hang up. Move this over here. That garbage. And then I'm going to hang this up. And voila. Workout stuff is done. There we go. So, there we go. We got pants in the middle. We got shirts on the side. I've got extra stuff up there. 
Um, I've got workout stuff inside this mirror thing too, and so there's a lot. Oh shoot! It went sideways. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Okay, I need to make my guest bedroom's bed. My company, I have company coming over for the weekend. Uh, company will always, when I have a guest in my home, will always have fresh linen. Sheets are washed. And now I just got to put everything on. It's kind of dark in here, so. Bear with me. Everybody always wants to know, what do you do, Ursula? What you do, girl? So I washed all the sheets. Everything's going to be beautiful. Cleaned the cover part with Febreze. Oh, there's a pocket on here, too, so that's cute. So it goes this way. There we go. So you can be assured that if you ever come visit me, if you're one of my guests, everything will be clean. The whole house will be spotless and the sheets will be clean. You never have to worry about that. I am a clean person. All right, make sure it's all good, pull it down, okay, all right, so there's that, you guys, it's Vlogmas, are you ready for Vlogmas, if you're not, then don't watch, but if you are, and you like to see the behind the scenes of Ursula, everybody always thinks I have somebody taking care of everything. Nope. I still do everything myself. You guys, I still do it all myself. Could I have somebody take care of everything? Of course. Will I do that someday? Of course. But in the meantime, enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride of Ursula. I can literally do and have anything I want in my life. I like this soft, cozy pillow. So I'm going to put a silk pillowcase over it because that way you don't age. If you're on that silk, beautiful pillowcase, it's good for your skin. Boom, boom, roll this over, and my guest's bedroom is ready. It's ready, girls, it's ready. And then there's this one, throw that down. I don't know why it keeps on wanting to go. Stay still camera, right? So there we go. Kind of dark in this room. But you get the gist. You've seen people make beds a billion times, right? I'll put that on the top. Or maybe I'll just leave that. And then you just make sure everything is freshened up. You have, they have an extra blanket, all of that jazz. 
And uh, let's go on to the next project. All right, the next thing that has to be cleaned before your guest comes over is their guest bath. The only thing I use in this bathroom is the bathtub. I have my own everything else except a bathtub. So because the uh, surround around the whole bathtub is like a marble finish, all I have to do is clean it with some Windex or some glass cleaner. And then I'm gonna clean the bathtub area with some scrub, so just watch. Just want it shiny. I'm going to stand up here, get everything. Clean it off. Not dirty, it just needs to be shiny. Mainly, it just gets dusty, you know? When you have a bathroom you don't use very much, it just gets really dusty. You want it to have that wow factor, shiny wow factor. Get the soap scum off of it. All of that. Do the fixtures too. Get the dust off of them. Step in. Get some more spray. Do the fixtures, make sure everything shines. You don't want to go into a gross bathroom. Put this up. Wash everything down. spray the bathtub and scrub it because like I said I only use the, it for the bathtub so I want it all to shine I want the shower part to shine shine bright like a diamond so spray this I've been taking a lot of baths because I'm working out now so and then put some in your toilet also this toilet just gets dusty, pretty much. So spray the toilet. Let it do its magic for a minute. While it's doing its magic, just have a little dance party. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it's ready. Add some water to it. And then get to scrubbing. Get in there. Scrub all that grime away from the bathtub for me taking so many baths. I put Epsom salt in there. Scrub away. You want it to look brand new. You know when you go to an Airbnb, you don't want your Airbnb to be all nasty, right? Same thing. When you have a guest, it's like having an Airbnb. So this is the preparation. Whew. Telling you what. Get in there. Scrub, scrub. 
scrub, scrub. Put on your favorite music. Scrub away. Woo! ring around the anything. All right. Oh, that's a workout, yo. Now take the handheld, this wonderful gadget, and wash it off. You got a clean shower bathtub. So now what you're going to do is just focus on the vanity area and the toilet. So just put this away. Put this a good, you got to clean up. Make sure you have enough toilet paper. Check. You got two things of toilet paper. Uh, get rid of the garbage, uh, clean the toilet. Just, I'll be right back, I gotta get another paper towel. Okay, so now you're just gonna wanna do a vanity check. Put in a pluggy thing to make it smell good if you want. Put it in there so it doesn't smell like chemicals. Spray the mirror off. Make sure it's clean. For me, it's just dusty, like I said, because I don't use this bathroom enough. And check up on the lights. Get up there and watch the lights. They look pretty good. You want somebody to feel like it's an Airbnb that's all been clean and ready. So that in case they forget anything, you've got it. You have everything that they need, right? So clean the vanity. Make sure you've got an extra thing of toothpaste, an extra thing of hand wash, uh, an extra thing of hand lotion, because you know when you're traveling, sometimes you forget. Some cool plants. It smells good. It's dust free. The toothpaste you can put inside here. I have a drawer full of Q-tips, um, face wash, hair products extra toothbrushes, ibuprofen, dental gloss. I got it all. So if they ever left, left anything, I got it. I got it covered. So wash the sink. Wash the sink out. Get the dust out of there. It's really easy when nobody's using the bathroom, you know? Just, it's a matter of just dusting it, pretty much. Dust the mirrors, clean the mirrors. Oh, I just turned the light off. Dust everything. Dust around the, the vanity. Check your drawers, make sure you got everything. Wash everything up. I've got uh, wipes for, you know, in case people like the cotton nail wipes. Get rid of this because I just used that. Um, what else? I've got cotton and wipes. I've got Febreze. I've got uh, Royal Dew so you don't smell their poop. I've got this little mirror. This if they want to take it, 
actually I should put it right here so that if they want to pluck their eyebrows or whatever they can do that I'll put that right there so they have an extra mirror clean the mirror behind the toilet clean the toilet oh my gosh there we go make everything glamorous darling glamorous all right there we go clean dust make sure all of the around the toilet is clean i've got i keep these clorox wipes right here in case they you need to wash around the toilet wash around the toilet get all the dusties out of here and then clean the toilet You don't want toilet to be dirty. Okay. And then use the, the wipe, use this. Get in there and clean it. Scrub that toilet bowl. And then flush it. And I always have stuff for the bath. Um, I have this for bubble baths, and I have some minerals, so they're welcome to always take a bubble bath. A bath. So I'm gonna keep. Oh shoes! I just went right in there, y'all. No, she didn't slide out like that. I don't watch that. Girl, you'd be crazy. You'd be crazy. So I'm going to leave this out so that my guest can take a bubble bath and put some ancient minerals inside of their bath and have the whole luxury experience. I'm going to just close it. Okay. So final thing, you guys, all I have to do is sweep these floors and mop these floors and look at that shiny bathroom. It's all ready for guests. That's how you, that's how I do.